For those who came in late, earlier this year, this team of bright Jamaicans, honed by the Mona School of Business, won a business plan competition in Atlanta, Georgia. Last week, we looked at team responsibilities and the team's winning strategies, as well as plans to open a business focusing on the merits of Jamaican ginger. So their company is aptly called the Ginger Factory. Well, obviously, you feel good about the uh, winning mm -hmm. and about your performance as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, but how do you think, you're entrepreneurs, so you're practical people. How do you think this will benefit Jamaica and indeed your brand, the Ginger Factory? How do we think the competition will benefit? Yes, winning the competition will benefit a Jamaica and of course your brand which is the Ginger Factory. We believe that Jamaica has, by being in Atlanta, we were ambassadors for Jamaica. We were like novelty product there. Everybody wants to know... And you exploited bit. that yes, novelty. Yes. Everybody wanted to know a little bit more about Jamaica. Everybody wanted to know when they can visit and how they can mm -hmm. visit and what else we have. Mm -hmm. And what is interesting is that it was not just students, it was a large cadre of entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs in, in, in America. And what that, that does for us is show to the world that Jamaica has really good students, have really good minds, have really good laborers, have really good products. And so it, I think it can benefit us in terms of foreign direct investment because if these people are looking for a place to invest, by being in Atlanta and by doing as well as we did, because everybody was talking about the Jamaica Ginger Factory, they can look to Jamaica to invest. As it relates to our team, we have gotten a lot of exposure, we have gotten a lot of assistance, even coming back from Atlanta in terms of steps we need to take to implement our business, people we need to talk to, and people are now more willing to talk to us about investing in our venture. And so we see coming out of this, many positives for the company going forward in terms of the possibilities of getting investment and we're, we're not in the market yet with our products but already people know about the Jamaica Ginger Factory people will see you on the road and say oh you're the ginger girl <laughs> you know that kind of thing and so we're already gotten, we've already gotten some marketing off as it relates to the, um, the factory itself Challenges and opportunities abound in Jamaica, and so I spoke with the team's finance man, Rowan Hilton, about this and strategies to execute good ideas. What are the realities that you think you will face? What are some of the positives? What are some of the negatives? And how do you think you will mitigate against those? Now, I'm sure, as a finance person, you have already done your stress tests associated with the various scenarios that could accrue. Your team did it in respect of the weather-related question you answered in Atlanta. Now, it, from a financial vantage point, what are the things you must do to enable success, to build on the success you garnered in Atlanta? And what are some of the challenges and some of the positives you see out there? All right, um we believe that the, our business idea is, is, is in an industry that's poised for significant growth. The agricultural sector is one that has seen significant growth over the last couple of months and years. And um, as most successful businessmen will say, um, most business will strive during economic recessions. And we believe that we can grow during that period. Um, as it relates to our viability, we, we, we have done stress tests, um, we have projected um, price that we can get on the market, but we have also looked at um, worst case scenario. Um, if the price doesn't hold up over a long, long period of time, can, can we still be viable? And our, te our, 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 our research shows that it can be. Um, also, we, we, we our, our, our business plan is, is done to, in a way that uh, we are scalable um, in, in that um, at any point in time we, mm -hmm. we could start at a particular level and we could grow over time and we believe that that allows us to set us apart from probably most startup ventures the way we can 
structure our growth pattern over a long period of time. So we believe that our business is viable and with the right support and funding can be, um, can be good. Um, one of the things that I, that I see as probably could be a problem is securing funding. And I mean, our, our initial plan asks for a significant amount of funding, but um, we, are, we are looking at scaling it, scaling it down to, for, 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 to a level that we can afford. At the same time, we are putting together different scenarios where if we are afforded or given opportunity by investors, we can scale up to the IT level that, that we want. So I think securing funding is probably a major challenge right now, but not an obstacle to our business venture. How can you compete against what's happening out of the Far East, what's coming to us out of the Far East? The How are you going to market the product? Right. Well, the beauty about our product is that um, it's not just for the local market. We're going international as well. So we would have had to do significant research in terms of what exists on the international market and what exists in the local market. And the thing is, our basic strategy is quality-based. Our product is a quality product. And anybody in Jamaica can tell you about ginger. And it's, di um, it's what do you call it? It's how, how flexible it is in terms of what it can do for you in terms of medicinal purposes, cooking purposes. So it's, it's a very good product. It's a versatile product. And it's a quality product. So on the Jamaican market, and I mean, people who go to the supermarket, and as Christine can tell you, when she goes and she may pick up a piece of Chinese ginger and uses it in cooking, it's, you notice the difference, the vast difference in quality. And she's not too pleased when she, she uses something that comes into the end as opposed, yes. right, as opposed yes. to something that is grown here. So uh, quality is really our basic strategy, and you can't compete with that. It's the best quality ginger in the world, as Christine will tell you. And it's pretty similar to our coffee. So there is no denying how good of a product it is. And on the international market as well, it is known. And it is in relative short supply. So we have excellent, excellent growth opportunities in both the Jamaican market and the overseas market. And you have done some research we on the overseas market. We have done and know that you're not going to start this thing and get broke. Absolutely not. And the thing about it is we do realize that our business plan may not translate wholly to life. Things will change. We will have to adapt. And so we are prepared to make changes where we need to. Mentorship is important to any young person hoping to begin the journey of entrepreneurship I posited to one of the directors of the Vincent Hosang Entrepreneurship Program, Patricia Luthien. You mentioned something in your initial remarks that I think is, is very important, the question of mentorship. Because having an idea is one thing, being able to execute is important. Tell us about that mentorship program and the part it has played in developing some entrepreneurs out of the Mona School of Business? Well, um, yes, we have, over the years, we have had this program, and we have a few of the programs, a few of the projects that have eventually become scalable projects. Not, you know, very big. They're still trying to find their feet and to get, some are still trying to get started, and one and two have established themselves. Um, the, the the actual partnership though, the, the private, you say select private sector right. companies. What sort of criteria do you look for when you're trying to marry those two? Your students here with the select private sector companies. Well, we look for, for individuals that have one business experience and who have been successful. Well, as well as in their own business as well as in the private sector companies. And you know some private sector companies are pretty entrepreneurial. So the, the, the practical side of, of learning at the Mona School of Business is really, really important. It's very important. As a matter of fact, I might just say that that's something that we take into the classroom in the other courses as well, just to let you know um, that we have our guest lecturers and who come in and speak to our students. And the lecturers are people who have been successful in business, have yes. some business experience. Right, right. Okay, some of our lecturers. As a matter of fact, the main 
lecturer for, for our venture, um, our, our new ventures program is Douglas Lindo and he has a successful business. As we continue our quest to spread the word on entrepreneurship, we'll have more on the progress of this award-winning team from the Mona School of Business. I'm Owen James. <laughs>